And now the overtime, the one he reads really slow for 25, 25 minutes. And first, I want to thank Mo for mentioning the 100,000 poets thing. Uh, we've been doing it every year in New York, and it's the first year, and I won't be in Paris when it happens. It's the first year I won't be a part of it. Um, and I just think it's something that should be perpetuated. And now it's literally all over the world, and I think it's an amazing thing. So this is a kind of poem about poets, although it makes some people unhappy. <laughs> it's called Another Long Wait in the Waiting Room for John Ferris, who is a wonderful poet. And thank you, Jack, for the poem about poets. I'm not a happy guy. Even if they could, things wouldn't go my way. No birds sing in my head. No crackers crack. I abuse the little bits of knowledge and speech that I know. Though I know, I know the difference. Always know the difference. Phil is a good poet because he's witty, intelligent, and famous. He's published in three languages. People laugh the minute he gets on stage and opens his mouth. His hard work and efforts have made him so. I'm not really sure if birds ever sing inside his head. Will is a good poet because of the color of his skin. He may or may not promote this fact, but as a fact nonetheless, he is this. He cannot change it. We cannot change it. I'm sure he must hear birds sometimes. The people out here are at the bottom, no matter where they may appear to be. They're all at the bottom. They abuse the little bits of knowledge and speech they possess. They thrive and survive within the banana republic they have helped to create. Sometimes they hear birds outside their windows. Sometimes they see birds on the sidewalk, in trees, in the gutter, on TV, in the movies in the dirt in their small backyards, and so do I, and so am I. I try not to partake, but I am trapped within the peels nonetheless. Is he telling me to shut up? No, no, keep going. Hey, hey, you fucking whispering. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pay you for whispering, I was not to talk to you. Bill is a good poet despite his station in life, despite his wit, his color, his speech, oh, okay. his anger, and his bad habits his effect on or his being affected by these jeans we all have to wear, these tight jeans that with great pain we all must wear. He sometimes peels away these jeans and sometimes defiantly only thinks he peels them away. He hears birds everywhere. He sees birds everywhere the way only a poet sees birds and he lives to tell their stories. But me, I'm not a happy guy. Even the birds that call me out of bad dreams on sleepless nights know this. I see them and I hear them, but never really let them fly into my head. I never really let them live inside my head to visit with me even for a while. I know that people will say that these birds I speak of, let's call them my birds, are not original, but I swear to you they are. I swear to you they are. Everyone else's birds came to me way after I started writing these words about these birds, these seeds that didn't even know they were planted. Suddenly they, my birds, started pecking at the language beneath my forehead as if behind my skull there hung an abandoned bird feeder or an open palm with traces of bird seed still sticking to the surface. I fill out forms just like everyone else. What's your name? What's your education? People say things. People call names. Appointments are broken and kept. Pictures hang on walls. Sometimes these pictures are of birds. Sometimes they are of flowers, of mothers and babies, of moons over barren landscapes. Vultures, though unpopular, are good poets because they're ugly and they wait for things to die. <laughs> Pigeons, pigeons, pigeons are good poets just because they're pigeons and they are perhaps the most famous and recognized poets of all. 
But whatever happens to the robin with its red breast, did it smother within the peels of this banana republic while trying to swallow the last virgin seed? The river is cold today. The wind chill is minus 10. There's all this ineffective sunlight in a clear blue sky and this month will never happen again. There are pictures of smoke on the wall, pictures to tell us what we can and cannot do. Even if things could happen, they wouldn't. Even if they seem to go, they don't. I, I, I step aside, but these birds keep coming. These birds keep coming anyway. Their mouths shut tight, their voices mute. The birds, the birds keep coming. Nonetheless, the birds, the birds keep coming. The birds keep coming. Shut up now, Steve. <laughs> Bob, thank you to Jason for getting me here. Thank you to uh, thank you to Gary. Thank you to Gary. Without Gary, Gary turned me on to Kate. Kate turned me on to Jason. Jason turned me on to Bob. Boy, that's a lot of fucking people. Huh? <laughs> and I thank you all. Woo!